So, uh, Bob and, and Steve again. We're going to talk about the the new um, Arkham Knight Batgirl DLC. Batgirl, Matter of Family. Matter of Family, yeah. Um, short DLC, but uh, short, yeah. But uh, longer than the the Harley Quinn DLC. Yeah. So I, I played it straight through. I I went straight through. I didn't hesitate. I never died. I went straight through with no problems. Took me an hour and fifteen minutes. But that is also including the time it took the PlayStation to crash and to have to restart the game. So, right. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's an important part of the time. Is, yeah, yeah. Is the PlayStation crashing? Yeah, that, that, that that's an extra feature. You know, that's that's the yeah. kind of content they put into games these days. Yeah, I ran into that feature a little bit too. It didn't <laughs> actually crash, but um, in in one of the fights where all the guys are just supposed to come at you just at a kind of constant wave. They came at me one at a time, and only if I threw batterings and grappling hooked them until I got their attention. Right, right. So it's the Ferris wheel fight. Right, the Ferris wheel fight. Um, and then, no, not the Ferris wheel, the merry-go-round. Oh, right, right, the merry-go-round. So yeah, when I played that, there was just a constant stream of guys coming at me. It was actually kind of a fun fight. I, I, I was watching you play it, and it looked just awful. Yeah, I got like three guys that came down, and then I went to try to, to blow the tank. Um, and I try to I try to do the stuff I, I need to do in that fight and just I can't do it. It won't let me. And I'm looking around and there's just guys standing around the outside of the, the whole thing. And so I grapple hook one of them and he comes down and fights me and maybe one or two other guys and then they all just stand around looking at me. Yeah, kind of, and on top of that they did the stupid dodge thing that's kind of right. been an issue in all the art since the very beginning where if somebody's aware of you and you throw something at them, they automatically dodge it. Right. So you're like throwing batarangs and they're just stepping to the side and Right. Yeah, so you have to just sit and I mean, wail on the batarang but hoping that it would hit them. Right. And then every once in a while it would hit them and they'd actually come fight me one or two at a time. And I had to just do that and slowly get all of them to come down and fight me. One at a time. So glitchy is what we're saying. Glitchy, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, after that fight, I went to the next one, and it was supposed to be a dual fight with Robin. And every time I switched to Robin to like do the whole double takedown, they would take the guy down, but then Robin would just stand there. He wouldn't get attacked. He wouldn't be able to attack. Right. He could just do nothing. And then when I'd switch back, he would sometimes just disappear. And at the end of the fight, Batgirl talked to him, and he wasn't there. She was just talking to nothing, and then it wouldn't even let me move. Right, then Batgirl was just sitting there doing nothing, and you actually had to stop the game and right. exit out. And exit back. out and go back in. So I don't know exactly how long it took, because we had to, to stop part of the way through um, and come back to it. And it was after I came back to it that I was having all those problems. Apparently the game does not like getting paused. Right. <laughs> So we stopped to eat dinner halfway through, and, right. and that was apparently a mistake. Yeah. Um, but I got through it pretty much glitch-free after that. The last fight was kind of hard, but... So, so what did you think of the DLC overall? It was a lot of fun to play. I think it would have been a lot better if it hadn't been glitched. Yeah. But I'll play it again, and I'm sure I'll have a lot more fun with it. Right. Um, that girl I, I didn't have the glitches you had. I'm really glad I didn't have the glitches you had because I, I think it was a much better experience for me than it was for you. Right. Um, that girl was a lot of fun to play. Obviously, very similar to Batman with just a lot less gadgets and, and abilities. Right. Um, also, hot. Obviously. Yeah. Um, that, when is Batgirl cool. not? But. So. I, I liked this DLC. I was a little bit underwhelmed. I, I guess I was expecting a little bit more. Um, I, I can't say I didn't like it, but you know, it was very similar to the Harley Quinn DLC in scope, not in length. It was it was longer, maybe right. three, four times longer. But generally, you're doing about the same thing. Um, Batgirl didn't have really anything at all to differentiate her from Batman, with the exception of her hacking. So she's better with her hacking device. So there are more things that she can right. hack with that. 
And you actually didn't take advantage of a lot of that. There were some kind of cool things that you could do. Right. I mean, it, like you, you could turn out the lights at one point and then attack a bunch of armed guys in the dark. I don't know if you did I that. I did do that one. Yeah. So, so I, I managed to take out like a room of like something like six guys without any. Yeah, when I did it, uh, there's probably other parts you can do. When I did, I just took out like three guys, like, yeah. three guys in the room. Yeah. Like, so if, four. Th there's a trophy for getting at least four. I, I, I know I got that trophy and then took a couple of guys down after the trophy. So I think I'm thinking I took down six. Right. So that's pretty good. Uh, and that worked basically like the fear takedown from Batman, except you had to have the lights off to do it. Right. But there were a lot of places where uh, where she could do things like that. But, you know, Batman does have the hacking stuff. It's just Batgirl could do a little bit more. And that's kind of an environment. You know, they had more things right. set up in the environment. So they really didn't differentiate her at all from Batman, which was disappointing. It was. Um, combat, she didn't seem like she had a secondary move. She had her takedown move. Most of the characters have had some kind of a secondary move. Uh, Catwoman could do her spinning triplet move. Uh, right. I know Nightwing could do uh, his, his shocking move where he... Right you know, puts his scream and it sticks together and shocks everybody around him. Um, as far as I could tell, Batgirl didn't have a secondary move like that, or neither did Robin. Right. Uh, and maybe I just messed it up. But every time I tried to do that, I just got messed up and broke my combo. So I, that's right. one of the problems with these, because they don't have challenge maps. They took out the challenge maps from the previous game. Right. And, you know, I think a lot of people are holding out hope that they're still going to have that maybe in a later DLC, but uh, it doesn't give you a chance to get to know the characters, really. Right. Um, it's always been kind of a problem since Arkham City that the extra characters other than Batman, you can't actually, there's not a menu, you can't actually go in and look at what moves that they have. Yeah, yeah. So it's just all been trial and error, but now the trial and error, you know, it, you don't you have those... got the, the battle, the little battle simulations. Thing. Right, you could do that with a one-time fight thing where it wasn't involved in a bigger story, so you didn't feel so obligated to to try and do good every single fight. You could just go in and say, okay, this fight I'm not actually trying to win, I'm just playing around and seeing what this character could do. It wasn't right. an ideal way, but at least gave you a way to get to know the characters. You don't have that now, which is a little bit problematic. Um, but the other thing I was kind of underwhelmed with was there was absolutely no variety in enemy types. I don't know if you noticed that. Every, no, there, I guess there was. Every there single was, enemy was the exact same enemy. I mean, you know, they had different skins. You know, right. They, they didn't but yeah, they didn't, the they didn't have any of the goons. They didn't have any... Yeah, they didn't have brutes. They didn't have... Nobody had shields. Nobody had shocky sticks. Nobody... Right. It was they, just your standard... They, they did have the... Um, the healers. Oh, and that's the right. The healers right. did actually do the electricity healers. thing to the right. guys. I forgot about that. Yeah. So, so it had a little bit. Little you're bit. right, not much. And they did. They had the knife guys. Batgirl did not have the knife takedown ability. Yep. She could do the knife dodge, but not the knife dodge takedown. Right. I, I don't think I ever tried doing it with Robin. I don't know. Aside from the Joker fight, I don't know if there'd be anywhere where you could. Yeah, I don't know. Because I don't think there were any knives in the in the in the team in the dual team. Fights. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I just know it didn't come up when I was playing as Robin. Nobody enough. ever attacked me with a knife while I was playing Robin. I don't know if there were people with knives in those. I just know that it didn't happen. Right. So, uh, and then the the end boss fight. Um, I thought that was pretty decent. Yeah. Honestly, I liked yours a little bit better than mine. When I did it. I was a little bit afraid that they had kind of gone for a whole white knight thing, because when I was playing it, every time I attacked Joker with Batgirl, it would go into the little animation where, um, you know, Joker counters and Robin has to come in and save her. Right. But every time I attacked Joker with Robin, he'd just attack him normally, you know, he'd just do like a takedown attack on him. Yeah, mine, I have, like... Both, both Robin and Batgirl had to save each other at most right. of the time. Yeah, so I was really glad watching you when I saw 
you do that move with Robin and Batgirl had to come in and save him because right. when I was doing that it looked like they had just done that for Batgirl and that's just so lame. It really to make is. That girl, like this damsel in distress, that has to have Robin come and save her every time the Joker points a gun at her. Right. That would really, that would really be disappointing to me. So, but luckily that was just something that happened to go down on my game that wasn't a normal thing. Right. So, so that's good. Um, I didn't do any of the like collectibles. I noticed there were collectibles. Yeah, I didn't do that either. So I don't know if you get anything out of that. Uh, obviously, you can't get much out of it. Yeah, it didn't look. The, but, didn't look like. Didn't look fun to me. There's not any story reason to do it. They're not marked on the map, so right. it's just random collectibles. Search every inch of the entire place for right. random stuff for no reason. And it's not a huge place, but still. Yeah, but those are the worst kind of video game challenges. And I'll probably do them at some point. I'll probably, I'll probably even make a guide, you know, to help other people do them. I don't know. Maybe other people will do those guides. I, I don't know if I can come up with a way to make it better. If I can. Think of a right. way to make a guide that's better than the other guides that people come out with, then I'll do it. But if not, maybe I'll just, you know, let the other people do that awful stuff. And <laughs> right, the other guides we're working on are all interactive, and right, and you yeah. can just click to whatever you need, and yeah, and stuff like that. But but I, I can't really think of a way. There's not a map that. really that you can put them on. And, right. I mean, we could make a. I, I suppose we could make a map and make the map interactive. But we'll yeah. we'll put some thought into it. But at any rate, I don't consider that to be much of a, much of an advantage. Those collectible things. They, uh, they don't add anything. I think there's better videos to do for that. Yeah. The, the, well, I'm just saying. So, from the, I'm not talking about me doing a video. I'm talking about from the DLC. Do they add anything to the value oh. of the DLC? I I say no. Right. In fact, I, I I would say if anything, they maybe subtract a little bit from it. Right. Because there's no no story reason and they're not marked on the map and that just makes it terrible. Al yeah. Although I will say that you know they might have a little bit of value just in that as I was walking around I looked up and noticed that my heads up display for my detective vision was telling me that there were ten unarmed balloons in the area. I didn't even notice that. So, so I did get awesome. a little bit of a chuckle out of that. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Unarmed balloons? What? Oh, it's talking about those balloons right there. Apparently they're on. on. That's good. Yeah. Well, you don't want balloons attacking you. Yeah, I hate when guns. balloons try to kill me. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, they might still try to kill you. Yeah. They just won't do guns. Right, right. So, um, one other, uh, one other note. Well, actually, I will save it for the end because it's a spoiler. I, I, I do have something I want to say that's spoilers, but I, I will save that for the end of the video. So, so there's one other thing I kind of want to talk about, and that is that uh, Rocksteady has released information today about the next DLC that they're going to be releasing for August. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm not super excited about this one, but, you know, it is out there. So the next one is basically going to be skins and a couple of challenge maps, racing type challenge maps. So they've got the uh, Michael Keaton bat suit here from the from the 1989 Batman. They've got the the Batmobile from the movies, which I really do like this Batmobile. Yeah. Um, so so that's nice. I don't get really excited about skins in video games. Right. Um, me either. They're fun to play with, but when you get down to it. Right. We got the season pass, so we'll get them. If we hadn't decided to get the season pass, I don't think this is something that I would probably want yeah, to buy. Yeah, I think I would have gone another way to get it. But, you know, this is kind of a cool looking suit. The, the old suit here. And then it comes with some other costumes for some of the other characters. Most of which I, I generally like. I think this is the Arkham Origins costume here, but it, it looks to me like it's the dark version. Remember they had that black version that you could right. unlock? I think that's what this is. And they've got the classic gray and black Batman. It's all right, you know, this is what yeah. a lot of people thought of Batman as looking like before the Arkham games. The, the old 70s blue and gray Batman. This one, I, I really enjoyed playing with this in Arkham City because this is the Batman I grew up with. Right. This is what I thought of when I thought about Batman growing up. So, right. Uh, this Catwoman costume, which I think just looks terrible. 
I don't know why they decided to go purple. That's supposed to be the Catwoman costume from uh, the, the second Batman movie. Was it Batman Returns? Was that the name of that one? And Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. That's, that can't be that. That's what it's supposed to be. Really? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like it at all. Yeah, that's what the devs say this is supposed to be. This is Because like, that be. one was like black and like just like heavy white threaded together. Right, right, yeah, it was, it was... It was like a Frankenstein costume. Right, it was pieced together out of scraps, yeah, with like right. big, almost looked like leather. That looks, so, yeah, that looks like nothing like that to me. series to me. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe I read it wrong, maybe that is supposed to be the animated series, but as, as I understood it, that was supposed to be... Let's see, it's a 1990s Catwoman, I so guess. So that's probably maybe. the animated series. Yeah, maybe it's the animated series Catwoman. One way or another, I'm not fond of that costume. Fair enough. Um, Nightwing here. I do like this Nightwing costume. Uh, this is the Nightwing from Arkham City. I like this costume a lot better than the one that they've got in Arkham Knight. And if it shows up in all of the cutscenes, I will probably just use this costume unilaterally. Right. Um, depends on if it shows up in all the cutscenes. I don't know. When I try a different Robin, a Robin costume in the thing, um, He'd show up if you wouldn't talk to him, but whenever you talk to him with the holographic thing, it would show the old right, skin right, right. Um, with the shaved head. And that might not be an issue with Nightwing, because I don't know if he ever shows up in the holograph. That's that's true. So, so. It, it's worth checking out. So. Yeah, I would like to be able to replace the Robin, too, because I don't like the way that Robin looks. No. The default as, Robin. As we talked about in our skin yeah, here, it's kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. Uh, he's yeah. got a child molester vibe. So. <laughs> but, but yeah, the, the Nightwing in there I don't like either. He's got that half cowl thing. And I just, I just don't like the way it looks. So I, I definitely prefer this Nightwing. Um, and then a couple of challenge maps. They're, they're racing challenge maps, and they're supposed to be based on the movie. Again, the Batman Returns movie, which, okay. you know, could be cool. We'll see what it, what happens. I mean, I'm imagining Batman firing missiles at penguins right now. It's yeah. Just, you know, I'm having trouble imagining anything really exciting. <laughs> right. Um, and another thing is, is I don't think that this Batmobile, it kind of sounds to me like this is not going to be usable in the main game. kind of sounds to me that this Batmobile will be just for those challenges. That's a shame. Because as we've talked about, in the main game, you've got to have those seats in the back to be able to drag people back and forth to the GCT. PD, right. and, and there's not room for those in most versions of the Batmobile. Right. Most Batmobiles don't have that kind of trunk space. Okay, so, so then the, the other thing that I did want to talk about, and this is spoiler alert, so uh, if, if you don't want spoilers, stop watching now. Um, and that is the ending of this uh, Family Matters DLC. Uh, to me, this ending was pretty disturbing. Um, and the reason why is at, at the end of this DLC, they're fighting Harley Quinn and the Joker, and um, they've almost got him apprehended. And then the Joker grabs Harley Quinn and puts a gun to her head and says, I'm going to kill Harley Quinn and if, if you don't you know, back off. And Harley Quinn's, you know, yeah, da, 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 da. I'm happy, I don't care, I'm the Joker. And, and that's fine, I'm fine with that. They're, they're both nuts. Um, <laughs> So, so the thing that really disturbed me about this, though, is... Uh, so, so then Joker jumps off the thing and parachutes away, and Batgirl tries to go after him, and Robin stops her. Right. For no real reason, right. other than, you know, the DLC is over, and so it's obviously time to stop the game. Right. But, you know, he's like, well, no, we, we, can, we can go after Joker later, don't worry about it. Right. He hurt my dad. Well, it's all right. Your dad's safe now. Well, the problem with that is, if you've played Arkham Knight, there is a little section based on the Killing Joke where Barbara Gordon gets caught in the gets shot in the spine and paralyzed by the Joker. And if you're really paying attention, there's a newspaper on the floor talking about how Batgirl saved Commissioner Gordon which is obviously referencing this DLC. 
Right. So what that means is Batgirl tried to go after the Joker. Robin stopped her for no real reason other than it looked like to just try and pull a little bit of a power trip on her. And the next day, Joker showed up at her apartment and paralyzed her. Right. And I don't think he knew it was her, but yeah. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. He was going after... Because he tried to, to he kill going, Commissioner he was going, Gordon. He was hurt, trying to hurt Commissioner Gordon by attacking Right, right. So he or initially tried to kill Commissioner Gordon. Batgirl stopped him. And because he couldn't get to Gordon, he went after Gordon's daughter, which right. happened to be Batgirl. He had no idea it was Batgirl. But... This puts the blame for that just squarely on Robin, and and, right. and that was a little bit disturbing to me. And I don't know if that's what they intended to do, but I really did not I really like that doubt ending. It, but yeah. I really did not like that ending just because of that. Yeah. <laughs> just wait till your father gets home. He's going to be furious about all this mess. <laughs>